So now there's a few different ways we can connect um, to our model to this, to publish our model to this workspace. Typically, um, one way to do it is by the traditional way where you hit this publish button. What I prefer and I think is a better way, method if you want to introduce source control, um, you can actually publish this to the OneDrive. So you can sync, obviously, your OneDrive to your, to your local machine, so you can easily upload it. I'm just going to save and upload it directly to OneDrive. So I'm going to go over to Documents. Now this is in my SharePoint um, site. And again, you know, you can have different uh, file folder systems, document libraries, depending on your organization. So I'm just going to upload my files. And I'm going to hit my Excel demo model. Now I've uploaded this um, to SharePoint. So I'm going to head back over. And now in my Power BI service, in my new um, workspace, there's nothing in it yet. So I just created it. I'm going to click Get Data. And I'm going to go down and it says I'm going to use some files. We can see once I click files, it's going to ask me where to go. So I can click SharePoint team sites. And I've still got my, my SharePoint sites copied, so I'm just going to connect. And then this is just in shared documents because I don't have any document libraries or folders set up. And I can connect directly to this file. So now, if you look, I have reports and data sets. I have now connected directly to that Excel file in SharePoint. Now there's a few benefits for this. Firstly, I know that every that file in my SharePoint, in my SharePoint um, folder, that's the live file. So this is going to be, you know, depending if this is a production or, or test environment, that's what's being connected now. Any changes I make to that file will be pulled through directly to the service. This means that we don't all have to keep using the publish button kind of overwriting. We can have this in a centralized location. Um, there's some more benefits I'll go into later of having it on SharePoint, such as version control. But right now we're live connected to that model. So if I click on reports, you can see this report contains the model only. Obviously, you would want to have some type of, of naming convention. I've written Excel demo model. You want to make it obvious that this is a model only, so people don't think it's a report. And obviously, you, you want to um, share these in different ways you want the reports, probably depending on, on your organization, who's going to be building off these models, um, you'll want to share those. 